like I made 30 burgers. <laughs> How long have you been with Modelist Burger? The generally speaking, the benefits don't kick in until you've been with the company for 15 years. He's like, well, I made 30 burgers. I turned the speed way down. Does that affect anything? Time travel? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we have this save now in case it crashes again. Maybe we need to come into the screen from another angle. We're good. For some reason, there is a gathering here. No one can hear you from over here. Probably some kind of customer detection system. Looks like a button. The space quest scene there. All right. Now you we retrieve the cigar button. All right, so we can ha get access to a lot more money, thanks to the uh, courtesy of the latex babes of Estros, but we don't quite look the part right now, if you know what I mean. So we're going to need to alter our look just a little bit, just for, just for a bit, in order to access those funds. place is happening. If I were Latex Babe of Astros, I would definitely shop here. Pump and soundtrack, too. Talk to the crowd. No one can hear. No one can. No one. No one. No one can, no one can hear you from over here. No one can hear you. No one, no one. Oh, get closer. I see. What's going on in there? <laughs> What's going on? The two geeks from Andromeda are in there <laughs> signing copies of their latest release. That's awesome. I did not know that was a thing. What's going on in there? What's going on? <laughs> I just told you. The two geeks from Andromeda are in there signing copies of their latest release. <laughs> I never knew what they were What's in here. What's going on in there? <laughs> Beat it, jerk. What's going on in there? <laughs> Same inflection. There is no reply. What's going on in there? There is no reply. What's going on in there? There is no reply. I need to, like, just... Every time I walk up to, like, a crowd of people, I'm going to start saying that with that same exact inflection. What's going on in there? What's going on in there? There is... What? There is no... Oh, uh, that's fantastic. What's going on in there? All right. Uh, you know, let's... Uh, no, no, let's... All right. I don't think we got any points for that, so let's go back. Let's go back to Roger 5 where it's all happening. All right, we need an outfit. It's a bit more latex babe-like. Are you sure you got the right store, hon? I'm not sure. I think I'll just look around for a bit. Let us know if we can help. Listen, hon, I got work to do here. You run along now. Maybe you could bring back your girl sometime. Bye now. I might need to like try to get the uh While enjoying this banquet of fashion, you wonder what you might look like in one of these cute little frocks. That's what I'm saying. Hey, what kind of thing is that for a studly guy like you to be thinking? Get a hold of yourself, fella. Maybe I need to try getting the money first. You can't use that here. Definitely can. Thanks for shopping at Saks. That's Jane Jensen's voice? Really? A tour of the fantastic. Well, I was going to say Beast Within, but, you know, Gabriel Knight series. Love Beast Within. Can't wait to play the first one.
I'll never work there again. That's a LPWB guarantee. What's going on in there? That cleared out. All right, let's try the ATM. It might be the issue. Yeah, that you red line. You obviously don't resemble a blonde woman. What a surprise. What a surprise. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Sweet. Arcade. Watching this fine youngster brings back fond memories of your youth. Little did you know that all those hours of playing blazing paddles were in preparation for being a space guy hero type. <laughs> space guy hero type. I guess it's a giant eyeball with a trucker hat. <laughs> so cute though. Watching this fine youngster brings back fond memories of your youth. Little did you know watching this Talking to a kid in the middle of an arcade game is almost as interesting as talking to the wall. Give it up! It's creepy too, actually. Especially by today's standards. You resist those inbred custodial tendencies to collect garbage. <laughs> inbred? You have much more important garbage to tend to. Give your nose a break! It's a garbage can! Nah, you'd rather not. You never know where it's been. Leave the kid alone. He's totally engrossed in his game. Fair enough. All right, we'll check back here. Now, let's see if we can get the outfit. Well, uh, this here we is go. Kinda hard to explain. Oh, let me guess. You want something for someone very special. Someone who died to get the latest in high galactic fashion. Are we right? Or are we right? Um, uh, we're right. We're right. <laughs> okay. What size does she take? Ooh, 38. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're right about that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not I, sure, oh, but oh, she's built about like me. <laughs> Is she? A likely story. Good thing for you I can keep a secret, sweetie. I'm sure this will suit that special someone's needs. It's all the rage. I suppose you'll want to try it on now. Here, use this dressing room. She has something to do about the hair, too. There it is. And honey, if your special someone needs a wig, this one should look pretty good on you. Yes. Just realize how creepy those mannequins are. Very lovely, honey. It's made for you. I like the would shot you like now. Would to wrap it up, or would that special someone prefer you to wear it home? Uh, I think I'll wear it home. Just what we thought. Where did the Cindy that Crawford? Be sixty buckazoids, sicko. Beauty mark. Oh, sixty buckazoids. Oh no. Ah, oh, sixty-nine. 
Thank you. There's another sound bite for the archives. Appreciate it, hun. Hun. Sweet. Hey, not bad for a robotic mannequin. Gary. Although just an animated mannequin, it's not intelligent enough to converse with even you. <laughs> Closet mannequin whipper, eh? Closet mannequin whipper. You got me pegged, Despite Gary. Despite your love for Synthos skin, you decide that wouldn't be gentlemanly. Fair enough. Ah, uh, even <laughs> it changes Thanks the wall. Is that how Roger thinks women walk? How does he manage to get so many of them? Beatrice, Stellar, that latex babe of Estros, apparently. All right. Yeah. That is, that is her. That's Roger's confident walk. This guy, or is it a gal? Doesn't look like anybody or anything you've ever seen before. I look happy. You talk to yourself. The being, unable to understand your language, acts as though it doesn't see you. You assume that's why he acts like that. Too bad we didn't hold on to our translator machine. All right, now hopefully we can clean out this bank account. <laughs> Whatever. Call us even for me having saved her life. Buckmaster 2000! Uh, let's see, what's the balance? 2,001 Buckazoids. Her life savings are now mine! Sweet. Alright, let's take a look. So now we should have a healthy... 2010 Buckazoids, thank you very much. Very healthy. All right, so we can change back, or we need to change back eventually, but before we do, let's have some fun. I typically Abandon the uh, the ladies' clothes a bit too quickly. I'm too hasty with that. Let's see what. Let's see if we can get a job at Monolith Burger with our uh, our new get up. You know what I'm saying. What can I do for you, doll? Doll. Excuse me. I'd like a. Uh... <laughs> We're out of it. We're out of everything. Including oh wow. Employees. That didn't phase him at all. Good on you, manager. Whew. This dude smells like a pigsty. It's the gruff, unpersonal. Can I work here? Like to apply for a job? Uh, sure. I can cook. No, I can't do. What would you be in? Female and all. What? <gasps> what, you male sexist pig? Yes. Let him have it, Roger. Oh, that's it? Uh, all right. Whatever. Well, you've certainly shown your true colors, Monolith Burger Manager. What else can we do? Before we head back in, what can we go to the Skaterama? This is tough in heels, by the way. This might be the hardest thing Roger does in this game. Real ladies don't go zero G swimming in a dress. All right. Thought I'd give it a shot. Anyone know? Is there anything else cool to do before we? Before we change back? I just love that animation. I will talk to the uh, trash can in the arcade. Yeah, I couldn't remember which action I had to do on that. 
Oh, they look. They had an extra wig behind the, the counter. Do one last save just in case we do miss something. Go back to Roger 4 and give it some love. Back to the upper left mannequin. There is no reply. Although just a... You ask her to dance, but get no response. Shot down again. You ask her to dance. Although just an animated mannequin, it's not... They can't be real. No living thing can resist your charm. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, I Let tried boogie girls. What? <laughs> I feel bad for the, the robot sales clerk lady <laughs> having to watch this. I sure know how to bust a move. <laughs> Thank you very much. I had not, I was not familiar with that. Let's boogie, girls! <laughs> Fantastic. As you change your clothes, you think to yourself that even in drag, you still have incredible animal magnetism. Or is that just a lack of deodorant? Yeah, Roger peaks in this game. A lot better than the gawky. Just Space Quest 6, they Thanks did him dirty. Sacks. One through three, you couldn't, like, really. You know, make heads or tails of what he looked like. He peaked in four. Kind of like Larry peaks in, uh, they <laughs> shoot Larry three. And he gets the hair and he, he gets his pulsating pectorals. Anyway. Alright, we have a couple more things to do here in the mall before we head out. All right, now that this place is cleared out, maybe we can make a purchase here. From the software store, your your babbages. Sorry, your... but the crowd completely cleaned out my stock of Sierra software. <laughs> the only thing that's left is boring home and business application software, along with a few inferior games. But feel free to look around anyway. Have you seen the newest time travel simulator? Neither have I. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure pretty... we're getting some in soon. Okay. Or Electronics Boutique. I don't know. What'd y'all have growing up? GameStop. I think it became GameStop. You talk to yourself. You talk to your... What? Sorry, but the crowd completely cleaned out my... Have you seen the... Okay. The clerk well, was right. Only boring applications software remains. Let's check the bargain oh, bin. Let's see what we got. Boom! There's a loom parody. The latest bomb from master storyteller Maury Bryanarty. Boom! <laughs> is a post-Holocaust adventure set in post-Holocaust America after the Holocaust. Neutron bombs have eradicated all life, leaving only you to wander through the wreckage. No other characters, no conflict, no puzzles, puzzles. no chance of dying, and no interface. Make this the easiest to finish game yet. Just boot it up and watch, watch it, explode. it explode. Epic. What's the price? 2,017 buckets of weights. It's like they checked my pants. How is that a bargain bin item? This is here by mistake. What else we got? 
What's this one? It's here at last. Sim Sim. A combination of SAI, simulated artificial intelligence, and VRAI, virtually real artificial intelligence, we at Max This Software have created Max. a simulated simulator experience that's unlike anything you've ever simulated playing before. With Sim Sim, you can create a simulated environment in which you can create any simulated environment you want. This game was ahead of its time, actually, when you stop and think about it. I love how meta it is. Sim, 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 sim. How much is this one? Bargain my butt. Wait, I want to look at the rest of this stuff. Let's move some of these out of the way. Kind of like rummaging around in the toolkit in Space Quest V. What's this? Presenting the latest in the award-winning King's <laughs> Quest series from the still active mind of aging Roberta Williams the third, latest the third. in the award-winning Roberta Williams series. What happens when old man Graham and his family are kicked oh. out of Daventry Condo Association? Oh no. We'll meet the fabulous Bernoulli brothers, Professor C. D. Romberg, and of course Rumple Stiltskin, over twelve gigabytes in length. Uh the best part is twelve gigabytes was unheard of in nineteen ninety one when this game came out. They're, they're seriously just going by how much I have in my pants. Quest for disk space. Uh, the From future. the folks who brought you Astro Chicken. Cluck when it Eggers. comes to stimulating chickens, Chuck Egger is the expert. And now mm. you can learn from him. Design the chicken of your choice. Over 40 options, including lips, no lips, and laying frequency. And take your creation for a wild ride over real barnyard scenery based on an authentic flight model of a chicken. You're in for a peck of fun now. Whole peck of fun. How much is this one? Yep. I'm starting to catch on here. Game crashes a lot here. All right, let's save. Like, I don't know, maybe, I was going to say, like, inflation, you know, is where, this is the future and it's working so that, like, 2000 bucks always is a bargain. But if I can get a pair of pants for 26 bucks always, I'm willing to bet that these games are, uh, they're not priced right. Following closely on the heels of his hit tic-tac-toe construction set... Phil Fudge does it again. Using a simple point-and-click interface, you construct the checkerboard of your dreams. <laughs> Fill in an 8x8 grid with squares of your choice, red or black, in any arrangement, as long as it's alternating. <laughs> Don't like it? Erase it and start all over again. Requires MCGA, CGA, VGA, PGA, P or Tara Ra Boom GA. I like it clipped on that. I don't think I've ever looked at every single one of these. Oh, uh, hold on. I think I see something at the bottom. But it's wait. It's the newest in the wacky Jaime Lipschitz series. <laughs> Jaime, son of a wealthy New York furrier, has gone wild with Jaime dance frequent Lipschitz. flyer vouchers again. Can you track Jaime down and bring him home to meet the girl mom's picked out for him? <laughs> hold on to your yarmulke. Yes, Jaime Lipschitz strikes again. 640K Ronald MT32 and 3.5 circumcision <laughs> required. <laughs> All right. Let's resume. Let's move this to the side. Which one's this? Is Head this for the hills, it's coming. And this time it's <laughs> it came hungry. for dessert. It came for dessert. Is a thrilling action adventure in which a mob of pushy, overweight relatives invade your <laughs> kitchen. Armed with only a jello mold and a pastry bag, you must repel the invaders. Always keeping an eye on your blood sugar level. It's the merriest mix up since Enema Ware's fabulous <laughs> Defender of the Crown Rib Roast. And that was a merry mix up. I like that the came for is like in Oreo colors right there. All right, last but not least, I had to dig for it. The Let's two guys from Andromeda's latest sci-fi comedy, Space Quest Four, <laughs> will give you hours of frustration unless you have this hint book. Want to know how to get the dog into the hanging basket? Want to find out how to attach the melon? Buy this <laughs> hint book, and it all becomes obvious. It's you so hit spot your head on. And say, Boy, how stupid could I have been? A moron could have figured this out. I must be a real dimwit, a pathetic nimnal, a well, I... idiotic excuse for a no, human I... being not to have figured out these oh. simple puzzles in the first place. Try it and see. All right. What's the price on this one? Five buckazoids. Of course. I'll keep that one. Ah, like... I see you've made a selection from our box of... A selection? 
Bargain bin. Selection of stuff. I like all the different themes that they're cycling through here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we'll get shot if we try leaving without it, but honestly. I think we've been shot enough. Sequel police put a few holes in us earlier. All right. Um, we are going... Let's go to the arcade. I think that's all that's left to do here. There's the HZ that hurts so good, but I don't think we want to do that yet. I think we're going to have to come back to Space Quest 10 to do that because we don't know what we need yet. And if we get the wrong piece, it's very expensive. If we get the wrong piece, then we're out of luck. So we talk to the plants. You talk to yourself, but you don't hear you. There is no reply. You talk to yourself. There is no... You talk... You talk to yourself. You'd better not. Something might answer. You'd... This is a fine example of the wonders of fabricated flora. Have some taste, Roger. These are phony mall plants. This is a fine example of the... Or something. One of them. Okay. This is a fine example of the wonders of fabric. This is a fine. Right. We'll keep an eye on him. Ah, I missed my store. I'm gonna go around again. Oh, can I just look at the pocket, pal? I don't think I can. I think we need to see the the terminals in the other part of the Your game. Your pocket, pal. Your pocket. You liberate the battery from the. No, put that back. Hold on, let's. Can this we, is just. Can we flip this around. Uh, this is just a dumb terminal. It That's not really telling me anything is the problem. I don't think you plug the. Yeah, I think we need, just need to like save and then come back later. Maybe it's in the hint book. <laughs> is that too meta? This plant was provided courtesy of Shapir Florists. Ah, there you go. This plant was provided. This plant was provided courtesy of Shapir Florists. I like it. A little, uh, Quest for Glory 2 reference there. Yeah, let's check our brand spank new Quest for Glory 4 hint book. We have the special pen. I'm in a long tunnel with a light visible at the far end. What should I do? Nothing happens. It would serve no... It would... Yes, it's a reveal o -matic. Electric hint revealer. Well then, reveal some hints. It would. Ah, maybe you're having near-death experience. Go for it. Haven't you ever seen poltergeist? <laughs> Go into the light, Carol Ann. The wound where the tentacled venom might rip my larynx out keeps getting infected. Help. Have you been picking at it again? <laughs> That'll only make it worse. Have you found the iodine dispenser? Have you found the bottle of peroxide? Have you found the salt shaker? All right, we'll come back to that once we get uh, our larynx, larynx ripped out. Can't seem to find the one-armed man anywhere, <laughs> ask Bob. Who do you think you're fooling? There's no one-armed man. You made it all up, Kimball. Turn yourself in. Just one of the best lines, I didn't kill my wife. And then Tommy Lee Jones, I don't care. Uh, the Simpsons parody of it too. Millhouse jumping from the dam. You can't find the one-armed man, so don't bother looking. Okay, okay, he's at the carnival. I can't hear what the two guys at the bar are saying. You can't. We try typing, listen to men. Oh, that's right. This is a parcelless game. Click the ear icon on the men. Yes, that's right. There is no ear icon. Click the eye icon on the men. Uh, that didn't help either. Just fooling, there's no way to hear what they're saying. Strawberry is to sky as fire engine is to blueberry, India, it good dental hygiene. Putting the key card into the slot in the dr dreco drachometer and turning on the viewfinder. I'm in the stupid, here we go, finally, something we can use. I'm in the stupid time pod, where else can I go? Maybe we'll sit on that one until we need it. My god, there are a lot of, 
There are a lot of hints. It would serve no purpose. Let's keep going. Why, they're those incredibly decorative perma shrubs from Polyflora Permutations Incorporated. Do you have a some sort of? Why, they're those incredibly decorative. Get a sponsorship going with uh, that particular company that you need to disclose, Scary. It's very excited. These guys are scary looking. It wouldn't be a good idea to mess with them. It doesn't have What's the going slightest on in there? notion as to. What's going on in there? Push our way past the alien. Overtaking you. All right, into the arcade. Finally. Can I play Astro Chicken? I see it right over there. <clears throat> that one's open too, actually. What's up, Dark? Let's try talking the trash can now. You're quite startled to hear the wastebasket respond. Here we go. Max, is that you? Agent 99? I always get these lousy disguises. Would you put a word in with the chief for me? <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but these kids, all they eat is ice cream and candy bars. <laughs> you know how many big chewies I've eaten in the last hour? Not to mention the wad of Big Bang bubblegum I got stuck to my shoe phone. Gee. Sounds like Michael Keaton a little bit. Data reference, but get smart right there. Oh, no. That's not good. Sequel police track me down to Space Quest 10, gang. The sign says Ms. Astro Chicken. How strange that nobody is playing it. Seriously. Gooey, greasy little fingers and various appendages have left a coating that smells like a cross between cotton candy and dead gerbils. Ew. <laughs> you had to taste it. Well, it tastes more like dead gerbils than like cotton candy. I'm glad we went in that order. <laughs> you had to. Uh, Roger. That was close. All right, seriously, I want to play that game. Oh. <laughs> There's kids here. You wouldn't shoot me in front of... Oh, you would. Smoking is bad for your health. Ba, 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 ba. I just want one quick game of Astro Chicken. Is that... Is that too much to ask for? Miss Astro Chicken. I guess I have to go in the other door to access that game. Here we go. Miss Astro Chicken. Flight of... Oh, yeah, this one's fun. You can drop eggs on folk. Ha! Ah! Egg in your face, Farmer Brown. I don't know that there's anything special to be had from completing or getting a good score in this one. I think this one's just for fun. Oh, dear. Okay. It's all right. Bad puppy. <laughs> I think I killed it. What's that say? Media vision. Speeding up. Cedric can randomly appear? That's amazing. I'd love to get a Cedric sighting. Space Quest V had just come out the previous year. You could beat the game? Wow. How long is it? How do we get more eggs? Do more eggs show up at some point? 
super squirrel flying by. Yeah, do you get to drop an egg on Cedric? I feel like I should keep this last egg for Cedric. You're a marked owl. Watch out, Grandma Poisonous Snake. Corn gives you eggs, okay. There we go. Delicious corn. There we go. Mmm, can't hurt that guy. Come on, where's Cedric? When you fly low, you don't really have to worry about accuracy quite as much. Can we appreciate how long Miss Astro Chicken has uh, maintained her altitude? Original Astro Chicken, like, eventually you had like a, a feed meter that once it dropped, you were out of energy. Monotonous about the soundtrack. I don't think you can egg, unfortunately. Bad puppy! <laughs> Flight of the Poet. We get the Pulitzer Prize if we win. I don't know, we'll go for uh we'll go for uh a hundred points. Ooh. I like corn, but I'm not stupid. If we haven't seen Cedric after 100 points, I'm pulling out. Splat. Poor dog can't even, like, get to me unless I fly super low. There's no need to egg him. yet. I'm surprised they haven't put in Cedric or whatever Easter eggs might lie before now. They really uh, expect you to stick with this. Oh, wow. Okay. That got a pretty good leap. Pretty good vertical combine. 93. I see their fire pattern it gets a bit it's faster, so it's harder to, to break through. That seems a little slower. All right. I'm just going to crash into whatever, whatever the next, uh, next turbine I see. Meow. Only Miss Astro Chicken's feathers were as tough as the bonnet she's wearing, apparently. We even get all the deaths within the game. Of, of the game within the game. Give me the, the full package. Game over. I don't know. Whatever. Good times. The change machine looks like a time machine more than a time machine looks like a time machine. <laughs> or a chain. <laughs> What's that up there? It's some sort of video art form. Looks like a hand throwing a pizza. Interesting. Alright, so we do need to trigger the time police here. So let's get our save going here. I think we just walk around back. The warp in. Yep. 
That sounds like a variation on the Monolith Burger theme. Alright, so this, just like when we were in Future Xenon, this is the tricky part where it's a bit of luck, a little bit of skill. Yeah, this part's pretty bad. We need to get into that time machine. The amount of time machines we steal in this game. Man, I hope this wasn't a bad. I really shouldn't have saved over five. All right, let's head to the the zero G. We couldn't do it while we were wearing heels. So let's try it now. Don't click a lot, that's the advice. So we need to lure the time, the sequel police away from the arcade. <laughs> Here you can really see how small the mall is. Everything in the background. Skatorama! The Skatorama is illuminated by a nearby sun. This Someone way did... you can enjoy zero G skating while tuning up your tab. Someone just shoot at me? Okay. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. Roger, don't linger! What are you doing? That may have got me. Yeah, I was trying to go to the zap, top. Zap, you're dead. I do like that though. Zap zap, you're dead. Can't argue with that one. All right. I think we made it off the screen. I hope we made it off the screen. There we go. All right. This should be a good save. We'll do a different slot. Sort of some trial and error going on here. As we... Try to come full circle and lure the sequel police away from their vehicle. Hint, hitting a moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They might be on this screen. Okay. Alright, he's still manning that. Wait for him to maybe come up at me from the right. <laughs> I shouldn't have tasted Wonka's soda. You've got to burp, Charlie. It's the only way. There we go. I think we lured them away. There we go. Quick. While well, they're floating around. Make a beeline for that arcade. Make it? Oh, we made it. Don't mess. Keep your... Get the time machine, Roger. All right. Uh, I don't know where they came from last. So I think we will need the hint book for this. An SQ4 hint book. <laughs> If you try throwing the bunny at them, you get a line saying, Be careful, they may have a hair trigger. <laughs> if it wasn't that difficult, uh, I would I would have... Where do you think? Some place where the sun does shine. You only flats if you had the coordinates. Oh, great. Only half the answer showed. There we it go. It must be a defective hint module. 
C I backwards. All right. C I backwards. Uh, C I three, we'll say. And then, uh, what is that? Face Hill T. C I three. And then face. This is my system, by the way. Oh, uh, there it is. Face, this thing, T. The powerful quad quark drives Rev is. to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your Ooh. adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally... Different colors. Ooh, we got a red. Red, green, purple. All right, so where are we going now? Yulin's Flats? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.